in 2012, I was I was able to go to the White House, mm -hmm. uh, did an internship with FEMA, and my my, uh, uh, my I guess my boss for the day or for the for the week got me in. Went to the White House mess, saw some some really cool stuff. Situation yeah. room. Now I know you went back in 2010. And with the Breaker Show. Yeah, so yeah. I got a T-shirt on, and you thought it was just a dang. <laughs> you thought it was a steak. You got a, Look you at this it photo. Steak dinner. Bro. So D Brick, yeah. like, talk to me that's about bad. what you. He was your plus so, one, right? How many buttons you got on that jacket? Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's how many a, buttons? Oh, that's a Steve Harvey. Oh man, <laughs> chill. That was a different time. We didn't so, have the Euro Cut back then. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So, so this is you guys at the. So state we dinner. get invited. This is at the state S T A T. -E yes. Dinner. Hillary Clinton state dinner, right? <laughs> no, it was uh, Obama. Obama. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And the Mexican president was going to be there. <laughs> He's, he's trying. This is a totally different side story. Don't even worry. This is a totally different side story he's trying to reach. He's reaching. Don't worry about it. That's an inside joke over here. Thomas is laughing back there because he knows this is a reach. I, I'm going to let that he, one go. Yeah. yeah. He, he owes us. He's going to lose do. a bet I off do. that. <laughs> he's going to lose a bet off that. I tried to sneak so, it in there. Yeah. We get invited to the state dinner. Barack Obama, the president of uh, Mexico is going to be there, and they're in the receiving line, the whole deal. Well, I remember getting this invitation and the Jets telling me about it in the mm -hmm. PR office, and, like, this is a big deal. It's in the offseason. Of course. If you can make it. You know, they got a private plane and all this stuff. I was like, whoa, whoa. this is legit. So I called my brother, and I said, uh, my oldest brother, Nick, who's an attorney, and I was like, dude, we have a steak dinner at the White House. And he goes, what? I said, a steak dinner. I get to go eat <laughs> and, like, hang out at the White House. And he goes, did you just say steak dinner? And I said, yeah, they invited me to a steak dinner. He said, you idiot. And I was like, what? He goes, state, like United States, like state of the union, S-T-A-T-E. I was like, oh, okay, well, either way, I'm sure they're yeah, going to have food. it's going to be like, great. going to be cool. Yeah. He goes, steak dinner. What, are you going to bring a knife and A1 sauce? God, you're done. You know, he just gave me a hard time. So he informs me on exactly what it is. We take I invited Brick because I knew he'd be all over that. Yeah. He's been on the podcast, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's awesome. So and and so um, you know, diplomatic. He was just so well put together. And I was like, this he is still the perfect, is. like <laughs> kind of hangout for me and my man Brick. So perfect we go. One. Dude, we're on the plane and I left my shirt and uh I left my shirt in the um in the uh terminal to leave on this private plane the fbo right how like an idiot and i have a t-shirt on i have everything else and i was like well i don't want to wrinkle it i'll put it up boom i'll take the jacket uh -huh. i just left it in the stall so we're in the air and i tell the <laughs> airplane pilot hey we have a problem the wrong thing to tell the guy because it was just about clothing not like there's a problem with the plane right, so we, like right. went into freak out mode for a second we had to calm him down Boom, I said, hey, I'm missing a shirt, whatever. He calls, like, ground control. They start calling around to men's warehouses or, like, other places I could go. So we go, find a place I can get a shirt. I walked into the store. It's a men's warehouse in D.C., close to the White House, packed with people because it's freaking prom for high school. Mm. Uh. So I'm like, I got, like, 200 bucks in my pocket, holler at the manager. I'm like, yo, dude, my name's Mark Sanchez. I'm with the Jets. I got to go to the White House right now. It is, like, an emergency. I left a suit, blah, blah, blah. He's like, you're going to have to get the whole kit and caboodle deal. Whatever. That's all we got. So I'm like, all right, I'm trying on this stuff. I ripped one of the jackets. <laughs> that man in a little coat. It was hor it was horrible. Just to get oh to those pictures God. was such an adventure and Brick was just like, dude, this is my chance to meet Barack Obama. This Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up in the White House and you're going to blow it. <laughs> so uh it was an adventure to say the least, but we had a ball and um you know, he loves the Bears, man. Brock loves the Bears. I he I does. To get him to, I tried to look. He is a Chicago change. guy. He didn't mess around. He said, no, nah, I can't be rooting for the Jets. I'm, I'm a Bears guy. I was like, all right. Whatever. So who? I heard Beyonce perform yes. at the state dinner. And this was, I don't know if she was married to Jay-Z at the time either. Was she? I don't know. In I think uh, so. 10, 11? 10? Yeah, she I was think married. She was. I, think I apologize. So. So, but I don't know if they had became like. The couple at the time. No, not yet. Not, not, not where not they're at they now. are now. Yeah, no, yeah. Definitely not. But the fact that that concert just happened in, like, this outdoor tent. I mean, dude, the whole night was surreal. You know, I'm, like, thinking, like, oh, can I take the silverware with me? I'm, like, oh, my God. Then I'm going to be on, like, the FBI's wanted list. Like, <laughs> you don't know what to do there. You just try and act natural, and I felt like such a square. But Was this, was like, incredible. the top of the, like, the food chain at this point in time in your life? Like, had you done anything even close to this? And then uh, how do you ever, like, measure up to this again? Yeah. Um, I'm still trying, man, and it's been a <laughs> failing effort. So thanks for reminding me. Um, I appreciate probably, that. Um, <laughs> it was, 
It was pretty. In- I mean, that whole time with the Jets, especially the first couple of years, were this incredible blur of um, some failures, but mostly successes and like that, like almost top of the mountaintop, trying to get to a Super Bowl, meeting people like that, meeting people out in public after games with my family that we've been fans of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, freaking Leonardo DiCaprio. You see anybody else or people when they start to know your name. Yes. Or you you see somebody and they're like, yo, I see Shaq at like a pool party in Vegas. He's like, Sanchez on the <laughs> mic. I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? That's Shaq, dog. Like, we made it, yeah. boys. You know, like, it's just, uh, it, it, was a, it was a really cool feeling and, and that was no different. 